the lying mainstream media have become the greatest threat to our country. Trump on television very much differs from the man in reality, explained Russian President Vladimir Putin after his first face to face meeting with President Trump via Twitter. He is very concrete, he fully perceives his interlocutor, and he analyzes and answers questions or new elements that come in the course of the discussion quickly enough, added the Russian president. President Trump and Putin had a 30 minute meeting scheduled, but the two leaders ended up talking for over two hours. The meeting was an incredible success and resulted in an agreement to establish a ceasefire in southwest Syria, allowing both countries to focus on the fight against ISIS. Vladimir Putin says that the meeting yielded positive results. However, the entire encounter was clouded by the false accusations lobbied by Democrats and the mainstream media. President Trump has been accused of colluding with the Russian government in an attempt to rig the 2016 election. Despite lacking any evidence, the mainstream media has dedicated months to exposing the conspiracy theory. The Russian collusion theory was constructed by Democrat strategists in the wake of Hillary Clinton's stunning electoral defeat. The narrative was designed to undermine President Trump's victory while exonerating Clinton's failures as a candidate. Instead of soul-searching and attempting to understand where they went wrong in the election, the Democrats and their cronies in the mainstream media have been on the offensive against President Trump. However, this political theater is starting to have negative impacts on American security. It is imperative that President Trump improves relations with Russia. Russia is a massive nuclear power, and it serves no good to continue feuding with our historic enemy. Russia has fallen far since the end of the Soviet Union, but that doesn't mean we should antagonist Putin to promote the Democrats' talking points. By pushing these inane conspiracy theories, liberals are undermining President Trump's ability to stave off a nuclear war. Democrat House Minority Leader and busybody, Chuck Schumer, decried the meeting as an embarrassment to our country and our ideals, further fanning the flames of nuclear war. The Democrats would rather launch a Cold War 2.0 than admit that they could not win a fair election. This Russian narrative has gone too far and has started threatening the safety of Americans. Stay tuned for more. Let's make this go viral, share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon, by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. And don't forget to hit that donate button in the description box down below. Also don't forget to check out our all new website with much more content than on our YouTube channel. If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regimens and products and so much more including an opportunity to earn residual income, please visit our partner at naturalbeautythatsyours.com. The link is in the description box below. Let the world know your thoughts on this story. Conservative fighters helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.